In this video, let's see the first numerical problem based on the concept of differentiation of parametric functions. The question is important. It was asked in the previous year examinations in the CBSC board and some other board as well in the year 1991 and 1993 consecutively. Now, the question says find dy by dx if x is equal to a cos cube t and y is equal to a sin cube t. We already know since in this question we see that x is a function of t, y is a function of t that means it is a concept of parametric function, t is the parameter involved and straight away from the two steps which we studied earlier we can easily say how to find out the solution of this question. I write the heading as solution and let's get started with the solution. So the solution is here, x being a function of t. For dy by dx which we have to find out in the final step, we have to differentiate y and differentiate x. Differentiating y means differentiating it with respect to the parameter involved. So dy by dt has to be found out. Differentiating x that means again dx by dt. So it's like that. Now what is dy by dt we have to see. When y is equal to a sin cube t, I write here y is equal to a sin cube t, my dy by dt is what? I know that a is a constant, cannot disturb it, let's keep it as it is, sin cube t, sin cube t. Now, since it is sin cube t, it is not only sin t, directly you cannot write cos t. You have to use the formula, which is the power formula, it becomes 3 sin square t, first of all. Then by chain rule, when power has been treated, you have to treat sin t also, so it becomes a differentiation of sin t cos t. Similarly, when you are done with the concept of treating y, then you have to treat x a cos cube t is been x, is given x. What is dx by dt? Let's see, dx by dt is nothing but a being a constant, cos cube t. Now cos cube t is what? It is basically again the application of power rule. So it is 3 cos square t and cos t's differentiation is minus sin t. So what happens? Let's see. It is nothing but minus 3a cos square t sin t. Now some students would leave the answer till here. That means they find it complete. But the solution is not complete until and unless you use this thing and you put the values you obtained in dy by dt and dx by dt in 1. So let me name the equations. This is 1, 2 and 3. Finally, you have to put these values 2 and 3 in 1 in order to get dy by dx. So let me write it down as put, let's move the solution here, put equation 2 and 3 in which equation? In equation number 1. So what is my dy by dx? In short, my dy by dx becomes dy by dt. dy by dt is where it is here, 3a sin square t cos t upon, upon is here dx by dt minus 3a cos square t and then we have what? We have sin t. Now what has to be done? Now nothing. The cancellations, whatever happens, 3a, 3a getting cancelled, sin square t, 1 sin t getting cancelled, from cos square t, 1 cos t getting cancelled, what is the answer? Minus sin t upon cos t. What is sin t upon cos t? It is nothing but tan t. So the answer is minus tan t. Let us lighten the box and write the heading. Wherever the question was, we wrote the heading. Let's write it answer here in the downwards of dy by dx.